Hi guys, Mary here. Today is Sunday, April 24th, 2022. And I was just about to take my dog Ramsey out for a walk in the park. So I'm obviously dressed for that. And um, I just got this nudge that I'm, I'm supposed to do a reading. So um, what's been on my mind lately is the, it's the new moon in Taurus and also a solar eclipse, the first solar eclipse of the season, the eclipse season. So I think spirit wants me to read on that and to get something out today. So it's supposed to be gorgeous out today, like a high of 70, so I'm really excited. Happy Sunday and to those of you who have been with me, welcome back to um, anyone new. Um, thank you for being here and Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any videos. Okay, let's see what we have for positive affirmations. The first one says, I make time to recharge my battery. The world needs my energetic light. So for those of you who are givers, always giving of yourselves, um, healers, teachers, people in the spiritual community, um, even if you're not in the spiritual community, you need to fill up your gas tank because if you don't, you're no good to anyone else. Um, so I always liken that to, you know, you on the airplane, always put the oxygen mask on yourself and then others. Um, but if your fuel tank is on empty and you need to refill it, um, take some time to recharge your batteries by um, doing some self-care, taking some time out in nature, going for a walk. Um, if you can afford it, maybe do a spa day or whatever it is that recharges your batteries. For me, it's painting and I can't always, um, I don't always have time to paint, but that's a way that I recharge my batteries. And then it's, uh, the next one is, I trust that my gut reaction is the truth. Oh my God, that is so true. <laughs> I just got, I just got the, um, the shivers. Okay, I trust that my gut reaction is the truth underneath the surface of my fears. That's really powerful because I feel like we get a gut reaction and we get a gut feeling and then we sometimes can talk ourselves out of it um, through fear because then um, we go to like, well, what if this happens? Or what if that happens? You know what I mean? So um, trust that the truth within you is that first gut feeling. Pay attention to it. That gut feeling, that intuition is never wrong. So um, let's see. I think I'm going to do, I guess I'm going to do some tarot. I thought maybe this would be all Oracle, but let's do some tarot. Do what I'm, oops, I do what I'm guided to do. Sorry about that loud noise. <laughs> In the angel spirit skies. Please show us what we need to know for this new moon in Taurus. We'll do four cards, please. Thank you, spirit. Okay, so the energy at the bottom of the deck is the seven of cups. So this can be a card of, you know, many opportunities coming your way, but not knowing quite which which opportunity to, um, to be open to. Spirit is saying, take a step back, again, with recharging your batteries and really um, be the observer before making a decision about which opportunity you want to take. This is very interesting. So we have the five of wands. Many times this is a card of conflict. It can be a card of you know, um, drama, drama in the workplace, gossip, things of that nature. So um, if, if this is what something that you're going through, I want you to maybe take a step back from the drama. Don't get involved in it. Also, it can be a card of, you know, practicing for something that you don't feel quite comfortable doing yet um, professionally, but you're in a practice mode. If you think about the nights that practice with each other before going into battle. 
um, and it's right next to the Ten of Pentacles. So this is a card of abundance, not just financially, but abundance in all aspects of your life, emotionally, physically, um, support around you, love around you, friendship. I'm just feeling like a lot of support around you um, and also bringing in things of um, the 3D world, um, things that you can see, touch and feel. Um, but I think it's through this practice of learning and honing a skill that you will bring in this abundance. And then we have the Eight of Swords. So you may be talking to yourself and convincing yourself that you don't have what it takes. <laughs> um, who am I to embark on this journey? Um, who am I to um, counsel people? Who am I to be a teacher? Who am I to be a healer? Who am I to... Um, it's almost like you're questioning your worthiness to, um, to share your light with the world is what I just got. So that's a prison of your own making. Those are the thoughts that you're telling yourself. So you need to, again, take a step back and really a, be the observer of your own reasons why you don't feel worthy. So what I'm getting is a lot of us as we're growing up, we're told that, you know, for me, I was told you're not good at math. <laughs> and um, by well-meaning people, I'm not, this is not a blame thing. Um, but, you know, and, you know, I made a lot of mistakes in my youth. Um, I, I know now why I made certain choices. Um, I think I just wanted someone to notice me. Um, but, you know, I cut class, I did some really terrible things um, and basically was labeled as that type of person. And I took that with me through so many years of my life. I um, took that label with me and it, it was completely false. And once I realized that, once I realized that I'm worthy to receive just as much as anyone else is, and I let go of that self-talk, you know, that put me in that prison of not feeling worthy, um, once I was able to let go of that, all this abundance came into my life because I felt worthy to receive it, you know? Many times I would, my prayer in the morning was to be of service and it wasn't until I actually added, and please help me God to receive service and feel worthy to receive that the abundance started flowing in. So. Um, Okay, sometimes I go off on tangents. I don't even know what I'm talking about. And then we have the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups energy here, I think is here to help you to, uh, again, um, for me personally, and I feel like a lot of people right now are feeling the need to step back, um, to reevaluate, to contemplate where we are now to go into our emotions, to feel the emotions in order to let them go and to heal. So, um, you know, we've been going through this pur purging process for years as we, you know, um, keep taking away the layers of the onion, you know, to get to the very essence of who we are. Um, you need to feel the emotions in order to heal them. And the queen of cups, you know, she knows her own emotions not only does she know her own, and she's an empath, um, but she knows what emotions are hers and what are not hers. Um, and she's a very loving, nurturing energy. So I feel like spirit is saying, love and nurture yourself. Yeah, love and nurture yourself. You are worthy. You are worthy of all that love that you, you give to others. Um, give it to yourself. You know, I was talking to a client and I was asking her like what her good qualities were. And I mean, she was coming up blank and she has so many good qualities. I mean, she is literally a light and she just couldn't see it. So I said to her, imagine that, you know, you were talking to your daughter and you were like asking your daughter what her good qualities were and she came up blank, you'd be like, come on, girl, you know what I mean? You'd have all these good qualities about your daughter. So maybe treat yourself as if you were talking to your daughter 
and then the qualities were coming out. So it's just a change in perspective, right? It's just a, a little shift in perspective for you to um, see your total worth. Okay, so we have a change in the wind. This is a time of transformation, guys. Huge shifts are, shifts are happening on the planet um, because of eclipse season, but also because of the energies that are coming in from um, the sun. There's a lot of, um, I don't know what you call it, like solar winds and solar flares. It's just a lot of energy coming in. Um, it comes into the sun from the great central sun and then to us. So um, I'm not saying to, you know, go sit in the sun for a long time, but really um, just take a moment to just allow that sun to shine on you and download all of that wonderful information. It's almost, it's almost as if the sun holds um, the Akashic records. It holds so much information. Um, and I think, um, I think in other civilizations, like really old civilizations, they considered the sun a god. So, and, and worship the sun. And I feel like the sun, um, there's so much more there than we truly, truly know. Okay, so a change in the wind, huge tra transformation. It's number 12. One plus two adds up to three. And three is all about expansion. We're expanding on a soul level, an emotional level. We're expanding on all levels. Um, if you just have faith and just allow things to unfold, you don't have to push anything to expand. You just need to allow. And um, I need to look at this card. It's like the zebra. Yeah, it's just a, a change in the wind. Um, interesting, okay. And I'm, I'm just being shown like the solar winds. I don't know if that's a thing. I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments. Oh, and um, I wanna thank you so much for your donations. I am just pleasantly surprised and shocked and humbled um, when I just get a little ding from PayPal. <laughs> Um, thank you so much. It's, it's motivating for me. So I really appreciate it. And thank you for your kind words and um, for your likes and your shares and your subscribes. Okay, we have Sage, be devoted and committed. Sage, I just, I just saged my apartment recently. Um, it was interesting. I did this reading. And I just felt like the energy in my apartment was off so I saged it. Um, a good smudging never hurts. Um, but this card is all about staying committed. And I see that he's he's like writing on a leaf. So, um, you know, if you made a commitment to journal every day, stay committed to that. If you made a commitment to um, meditate every day, stay committed. Maybe you can't do 10 minutes, maybe you just do one minute, but just keep going, stay devoted and committed because you're sending that message to the universe that you're serious, you're committed to this journey that you're on, this spiritual journey. And, um, and, and stay aware of signs and symbols and things around you like the repeating numbers, um, different animals. My animal is the um, hawk. My spirit animal is a hawk. I have a couple spirit animals. Um, and it's funny when I'm sometimes not feeling focused, I'll very often see a hawk and it's like, oh yeah, okay, get to work. <laughs> so we have focus the mind, focus your mind. Thank you angels for helping me to focus on my priorities. So what are your priorities? And sometimes you need to journal to figure that out, right? Um, focus on your priorities. What's, what's your first top priority? It's you. So focus on keeping your gas tank full, loving yourself, putting yourself first and foremost, and then you can better help the people around you. Spirit says, take a leap of faith. I'm ready to take a leap, angels. Thank you for doing it with me. So you're not alone. 
if you are nervous about taking a leap of faith, just, um, you know, spirit is really asking us to trust. Trust in the divine, trust in the divine plan, trust in your own mastery, your own inner guidance, and you'll know when to take that leap, okay? Um, I'll just pull one more card for the energy that surrounds us. Thank you, Heavenly Spirit. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Melchizedek, higher learning. You have learned from experience, and more inner study is required to further progress. So, a lot of us have been on this spiritual path for quite some time. Um, I felt the need to really step back all last week and really go within. I didn't do any videos. I just didn't feel called to. I felt like I really needed to sit with myself. And while I was doing that, I did re receive some downloads and some understanding about things in my own private life um, that were important for me to know in this moment. So wherever you are, know that you're exactly where you're supposed to be. And um, if you need assistance, the angels are here to guide us. Spirit is here to guide us. You just need to ask. And you may need some further higher learning. And that may be more going within. All right, I'm going to leave it there. If you like these videos, please like, subscribe, and share. I hope that you have a beautiful Sunday. I am going to go for a walk with my dog and enjoy this gorgeous, gorgeous day in the sun. All right, sending you much love. Namaste. Take care, guys.